We go with number 10. Okay. Uh, number 10 says find the perimeter. Remember, perimeter is a distance all the way around the shape, not including the inside of this isosceles trapezoid. Well, if it's isosceles, I know if this is 20, then that's 20. I also know I can drop down a height here as well. And if that's 12, and this is 12. This also tells me that if this is A up top, right here, I do have to do is find this X, all right? It'll be on both sides. So if I were to redraw this triangle, sometimes it helps people to see it. X, 12, and 20. Here's my right angle. That means 20 is going to be my. I would have to do X squared plus 12 squared. Squared. X squared plus 144 equals 400. Uh, subtract 144, x squared equals 256. Now, luckily, there is a square root of 256, so x is just 16. All right, so I know that both of these pieces are now 16. Again, for perimeter, I want to find the distance around a shape. So all I care about is this distance in yellow here. Okay, if I were to total up those distances, the perimeter would be 20 plus 8 plus 20 plus 16 plus 8, 8 uh, plus 16 again. And that would give me 88. Uh, a common mistake is to include the 12s. Don't include the 12. It's on the outside of the shape. It's on the inside. And perimeter is the, the outside of our shape. Let's keep going. Number 11. Number 11 is a word problem. All right. You are 30 meters from the base of a tree. The angle of elevation with the ground to the top of the tree is 6 degrees. What's the height of the tree? Um, the height of the tree is so high distance from the top of the tree. So here is, boom, a right triangle. Angle of elevation is 60. That means this is 30. Uh oh, you're 30 meters from the base. So I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. All right, 30, 60, 90. Remember, is A, A root 3, and 2A. Luckily for us, this is our A, A root 3, and 2A. So that means this side will be 30 root 3, and this side will be 6. A is 30. The straight line distance, 60. You would say, what, feet? Meters. Meters. All right. <clears throat> Let's keep going. A uh, lighthouse in North Carolina is the tallest at 197 feet. The spot at the top of the lighthouse sees a ship with an angle of pressure of 12 degrees. How far from the base? All right, remember, excuse me. Angle of depression is technically this angle here, but that's also going to be the same as this angle here. All right, and so there's 197 feet tall. How far are you from the base? So it's not a special red triangle, which means I'm going to have to use trig. So I can label my side O A sides O A and H and recognize that I have O and A. O and A. So that's TOA or tangent. So I'm going to take the tangent of 12 and set that equal to 197 over X. Put this over 1. Cross multiply. Tangent of 12 times x equals 197 and then divide both sides by the tangent of 12. x would equal what did I get? 926.81 feet. All right. All right, let's keep going. 
5 p.m. pairs to the Eiffel Tower cast a very long shadow with the angle of elevation from the ground to the top is 37. And the tower is 984 feet. How long is the shadow? Look, you could do this sick math if you ever go to Paris and see the Eiffel Tower. So it's 984 feet. Not sure about the accuracy of that, but it could be accurate. Um, the angle of elevation. The angle will always go in this bottom left-hand corner when we're doing these word problems. It'll always go down here. Okay? It'll always go down here. Uh, how long is the shadow? So there's our X. Again, O and A. We're doing tangent again. So tangent of what angle? Tangent of 37 equals 9. 84 over x over 1 cross multiply again we're going to have to divide uh so tan times x equals 7 8 or excuse me 984 divide by the tangent of 37 divide by the tangent of 37. Okay, and then x should equal, what did I get? 1305, 1305.81 feet. All right, next video I'll do the back page.